Hello and welcome to the Jeremiah Tile Show. I'm your host, Jeremiah Tile. Today we have two brothers with us with a very deep and saddening family trauma. Let's get the first of those brothers in. Benedict, would you like to join me? Benedict, hello. Hello. Take a seat, get yourself nice and home. Nice and Compose you. Compose yourself, everything will be okay. Oh. So Benedict, if you're okay and you're feeling up to it, do you think you can explain to us and the viewers just what's happened? I think so. Well, me and my brother, you see, we have this big agreement and we never ever break it. It's very important. He has his and I have mine. And then he bloody stole me raspberry yogurt. So Benedict, you have this agreement in place. Yes. You have raspberry, he has strawberry. But what's the actual reasoning behind that? Well, it's quite an important health reason, really, because I have my raspberry because I'm allergic to strawberry. So, if I had his strawberry, I could have a reaction and... oh. So he's definitely in the wrong if he's eating this. Definitely. Needs to be punished. I think we've heard enough there, so I think it's time to bring Smitty in. Let's bring it in, please. How could you do this to me, man? Smitty. I've heard what Benedict has said. You have, you have an agreement in place. So what makes you think it's right to eat his fast beyond it? I was fond it. But you've had this agreement in for how many months? Eight months. Eight months? Yeah. When just now you think it's a good idea to eat his fast beyond it, even though you yeah. know he's allergic to strawberry. Well, yeah, but I, I just fancied it. You don't do that, you consult him, don't you? You just no. thought it was a good idea, didn't you? Have you got any evidence of this agreement of yours? Is there anything stating that might even back you up just a little bit? Yeah, I do actually. I have the agreement right here. What? In letters. Bird asked me shopping this. Right here it says we don't eat each other's yogurts and we're supposed to sign with initials at the bottom. Where's your initial? I don't see it. Well, I must have what? just generally forgot. You could... Well, that means the agreement's not on then, don't it? So I can eat your raspberry. Let me see this. Don't break the paper. It's not even the bloody right agreement. He's forged this. I'm gonna forge Wait, it. Calm down. It's not solving anything now, is it? Let me have a look at that agreement. Thank you. We should just not even have yogurt, you know. Well, I like my yogurts. Oh. Smitty, what the, what the hell is this? Two hours ago you did this, yeah. it says on here. Two hours, so you did this just before you came on air. That's pathetic, it really is. Plus, you spelt your name wrong as well. You what? Oh no, sorry. I can see you tried your best spelling your name. I didn't mean to offend there, Smitty. Benedict, in my opinion, you're in the right here. This is, this is forgery. <sighs> Saws. One. Saws, we'll do it again. Do you think that's good enough? I want compensation. <laughs> I need to get me shopping done. I'm false. It's good to see you boys have made up. That's beautiful to see. You kissed and made up. Now, Benedict, you're owed 45p from Smitty for your Asa Smart Price yoghurt. Smitty, get your hand in your pocket. Take your money! Oh, God. You be dear, right? That's a lot of yoghurt. After that incident between Benedict and Smitty, we now move on to our second guests of the afternoon. Harold and Samantha, a married couple who see their marriage going in separate paths. You can have on. Oh, all right, all right. Mm. 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 Harold, if you don't mind, I'm just going to talk to Samantha for a few minutes. Ha! Samantha, mm. how do you see your marriage going just at this moment in time? Down the Right. Um, can you elaborate on those reasons, if you're okay saying that to us and the viewers? Oh, certainly. Well, he's been running off with a slag. Basically, oh, behind my back. What? What? He says he's speaking to you. Is this true, Harold? Hmm? Well... Are, are you seeing someone else right now? I suppose you could say that, yeah. There's no suppose, isn't it, Harold? It's either yes or no. Are you seeing someone, yes or no? Yes. So, Harold, what's she like? Oh, she's wonderful. The most nicest, caring person you could think of. 
She makes me a proper dinner, at least, not like this one. And a mean cup of tea. You like those microchips you had last night? Hey, hey, hey. You've been married for 24 years, is that correct? Mm -hmm. And Samantha, as far as you're concerned, you've been in a happy relationship, haven't you, for these 24 years? Easy. How old? Why did you go through with them? Oh, well. I, I, I don't know. She just. Are you a coward? Uh, I've been saying this for 24 years, putting her through all this. Thinking she was loved, night in, night out. Uh, I, maybe I am a coward. Yes, I you are. Know. We've got her backstage. Oh, there she is. Dirty, dirty, who are? What? Probably used that expression, aren't you, Harold? Oh, you know what I mean. Dirty, dirty. <sighs> I don't say that. What do you mean, Joseph? She ruined our marriage 24 years! Well, hello. You're quite cute, really, aren't you? Oh. I think there's a way we can make this no, work. No, it won't Stop work. It. She's ruined it for us. No! Stop it. That's the end of the show. Oh, God. God. Maybe I was wrong with her. What a slag. Thank you. I'm glad you see it now. Maybe, maybe we weren't so bad after all, eh? Fancy a bit of tea, go to a Fred and Richard's uh, tip shop. Oh, yes.